Animation Film, The Grouchy Ladybug, author Eric Carle, directed by Jang Nam. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they are mine. Oh my, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you end it, answered the friendly ladybug sleepily. It looked the other bug in the straight eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick somebody bigger? I will do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I will show you. It puffed itself and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing his finger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you. Said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you? said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you are not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At twelve noon, it spotted a book conjecture. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eagerly and showing its teeth. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met the gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla. Beating its chest. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered into an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk 
and showing its big tusks. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You are not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. That it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, he here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all the day, came out to dance around the moon.